Shoot. <laughs> we start like that. This is Liberace and Liza clearing their throats for one and a half minutes. Please. <laughs> cool with the 1.7, the uh, people that you hear in the background there. That is Liberace and Liza Minnelli. Good morning. Good, Good morning. Good morning. Oh, I'm so sorry. Huh? She's always trying to steal my thunder, Chris. We're sharing a mic, and I don't, I don't know how I feel about it. Our <laughs> lips are about as close together as they've ever been. <laughs> God, oh, we're to any woman, really. We, we just you. practically got married. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that. <laughs> Here, I got an extra ring. Just put a ring on it, all right? <laughs> I've heard that somewhere. <laughs> oh, that's a wonderful song. Have You haven't done that song oh, before? Oh, it's a song? It's a song. Oh, I, I, I thought I by, made that up. I think it's by Whitney Houston. If I'm not is mistaken. that oh, that's more? I just you know what? Here's the thing. I want to see Liberace do that dance. Is what I want to see in your outfit doing well, the dance. Oh, oh, if it has some soft shoe in it, I'm there. I can absolutely do that. You do have a good, high, strong high kick. Do you? I think. Well, you should know. Will Fossey. You know, this is a Bob Fossey graduate. I. <laughs> Bob Fossey. Said Hence he, the fake knees and the fake hips, honey. You know, I earned that. I, I did. Oh. <laughs> Liberace and Liza Minnelli are, I don't know how we guys uh, got you guys to come to Duluth. Uh, it's, you know, somebody knows somebody. Uh, I came for the get... quick trip. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta tell you. And there's a nice jeweler downtown that I needed to do some business with. <laughs> oh, and, and there's I, a Chili's. Is, I love Well, chilies. it is really cold today. No, it, no, the Chili's, the, the, the steakhouse, isn't oh. it? Oh, we don't have oh. Chili's here. Oh, God. Am oh, I... that's what, oh, I understand. Yes. Well, I don't. I saw something with a uh, something on. Well, it. you and I, we could just go out in a pasture and get our own steak. Do they have an Arby's here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you promised me. I did. I did promise her Arby's. You know, I love that ham and cheese. <laughs> what uh, What can we look forward to with you guys? Now, what is uh, what's the big number that you guys? Because I mean, what do you pick when you come to Duluth? All the shows that you've done, and now you're in Duluth. What do you do? <laughs> I think I've stumped Liberace. Oh, <laughs> Survive. We're just, we are. We're doing our best to just stay alive. <laughs> I feel like Jack Nicholson at the end in The Shining. <laughs> you know. <laughs> and I feel like Shelley Duvall. <laughs> I feel like Shelley Duvall trying to keep everything together. Oh, I hope she's okay. You I, know. <laughs> You read things. I hope she's doing it. Right. If I ever see you with an axe, I'm going to run. <laughs> <laughs> I said axe, not X, because she probably has four or five of those. Oh, listen. Okay, let's let's go down the line of how. Okay, we... I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have gone there, Chris. I'm so sorry. I want to say, women, you've dated. <laughs> I read your I read your autobiography, I... honey. Just come on. <laughs> Marvelous. <laughs> That's what he says when he doesn't know what to say. It's, she, <laughs> Wonderful and marvelous. She and, knows me too well. I do well. We won't have to go into details about your life. I'm doing great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Liberace and uh, Liza Minnelli are going to be appearing. Tell us where you're appearing. I, I I forgot to write that down. I've got the dates. I don't have the where. We're at the Overturn. Okay. No, I'm sorry. The Underground. <laughs> it's called. It's a subway station. It's. <laughs> Duluth. On West Michigan Street. Oh. <laughs> it's a subway in Duluth. There's only one stop. So it should be easy for everyone to find. No, they have trains there. One stop entertainment. They're trains, what... not s subways. Oh, they're trains. Do they? Oh, they're choo choos. It's a choo choo Do variety. They move? Well, I don't know, Chris. Sometimes. Some of them move? Yes. We have one that uh, takes a tour. It'll take you on a tour. Otherwise, the rest of them are just there for show. Oh. Well, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. I love to look at a good train. I, oh. <laughs> it's like my garage in Palm Springs. I should have a train museum as well. Oh, you should. I have a Rolls and a bunch of other vehicles. You could probably but... order some off of Amazon, I would think. Just some trains. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're at the Underground. We're performing Thursday through Sunday. Oh, and, no, and I've got so many things to do. Now, I told you what the dates were. Well, I know, but I've got to go. Okay, well, I'm going to find you I if you don't Arby's. show up. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, so, all right, so the, the, uh, we got to let the cat out of the bag. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jillian and David, and uh, they'll be playing the parts. We'll come back in a minute, and we'll uh, 
we'll have you guys talk about the roles and everything that you have planned. Okay. <laughs> Cool, one hundred one point seven. Visiting this morning with uh, Liberace and Liza Minnelli. Actually, Jillian and David uh, will be playing the roles. You guys are uh, down at the Underground, which is basically the depot. Yeah. Um, the fourteenth uh, through the seventeenth, and uh, the cool part is, I noticed this when I was printing this up. Mayor Ness is going to be there for the first night. Yeah. Former Mayor Ness. And I hope that I call him. I guess I is it you can call Donald. Him, you can call him Donald. You Donald. can call him Donnie. You Donnie can call is what Don. I used to yeah. call him twenty years ago. Little Donnie Ness. Mm-hmm. He's not so little. He He's hasn't escaped that really. I mean, there no. are people that call him Don, and whenever I see press releases, it says Don. But yeah, there are still people that say, "Oh, Donnie Ness." Yeah, yeah. Don, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> happened too. But he like that. But he's yeah. so he's always kept that boyish. I don't know what? how he does Man. that. He's going to be like 70 and he's going to look what? like he's yeah. 28, yeah. you know? Yeah. No, he, you know, he, I'm looking forward. Most of our guests are singers and Don is not. His okay. brother I Jamie say, is. Yeah. I was yeah. going to say, I didn't know yeah. he could sing, but. Yeah, but so. he's a writer. But he is a writer. Yeah. And, and a very good one at that. Yeah. And of course he's an orator. Is that the correct <laughs> I don't know. Just say when that. You say, when you over. say it that way, it sounds dirty, though. I know. <laughs> We're using Don for his oration skills. I wish skills. you could see what he's doing with wow. his hands right Is that now. how you say oration? See, it's uh, two ninety nine. the first minute he reads, and <laughs> 30... <laughs> <laughs> We're not also, helping his career. I, no, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but all of a sudden, we, we dropped off the G there for a little Ooh. bit. Um, yeah, you guys have uh, Melody. I'm going to say her last name wrong. Melody Mendes. Mendes. Oh, I was going to say it right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Barbara Streisand. She plays Barbara Streisand. You have Galen Lee is going to be there. Yeah. Um, Sarah Lawrence and Cal Metz at Loon Opera. You yep. guys, I mean, these are big guests. Some good yeah. people. Yeah. yeah. And they're willing to, to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like you have to hold them up at gunpoint. <laughs> All right, Donnie Ness, well, see, well, you're going to read, see? They're going to have to put up with, you know. They got it. Well, well, okay, yeah. They, the they're going to have to put up with a lot. They <laughs> have to put up with Liberace and Liza. And that, that's part of the beauty is they're themselves, but then we're, we're not. Like, I know them as David. Mm-hmm. And, well, Jillian hasn't met them at all. But, um, but you get real-life people having to deal with, on stage then with Liberace and Liza. Right. And there's a... It's strange because sitting here watching you guys in character and trying to fit into the... You know, I felt like I had to... Okay, do it. Am I... Should I play me or should I play a, <laughs> like right? a, you know, 70s radio kind yeah. of thing? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's so much easier to be someone else. <laughs> I think it's getting harder. And you, how long have you guys been doing this? Because it seems like you, it, this is second hand. I mean, you guys yeah. are very good together. Thank you. Thanks. Um, you've been me like three years, three three and a half years. But Jillian started playing Liza. That maybe. But I mean, together, you guys oh, fit together. really good together it too. It helps that we're friends. Yeah, we're friends and most of the time. Most of the time, unless we're working <laughs> and throwing things. <laughs> When you guys, let me ask you this, and you don't have to answer okay. it, okay? If you are not pleased with the other person at a performance, mm. are, can you, with the character, do you throw a few oh. barbs? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's not It's not that we're not pleased. It's usually, like, sometimes we'll I catch don't each say other. Angry. Well, sometimes we'll yeah. catch each other off guard. Yes. Like, he'll say something so ridiculous, I don't know how to answer back because uh-huh. I'm laughing so hard in my head. And so I will usually do like a, you know, like, shut up, Lee. You know, something. <laughs> right. Like, I have nothing to say back to right. him because it's so good. So that, we, Generally, we're like pretty, like, talk, talk. I mean, like, pretty back and forth, you know, tennis game. But every once in a there while. There was one time last year during a Christmas show where we just... Like we just, you said something really quietly and I got quieter and you got quieter. Yeah. And then we realized we had nothing to say and we just looked at each other and, and then I just said, well, that's, that's marvelous. marvelous. <laughs> <laughs> and we almost broke, but it was funny that we could also kind of be it's, silent with each other. It's funny though, like when we, when we do catch each other off guard, yeah. it's like, 
a hint of David comes back and a hint of Jillian comes Hello. back, yeah. and we're going, okay, yeah. no, 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 we got to keep in the character because this is really. Fun. But you do have to infuse a little bit of yourself into that. Oh, you yeah, do. definitely. Yeah. But I think it's, I mean, for for you too, I think it's almost like a blackout moment when you're mm-hmm. when you're being someone else, right? Like, oh, I love the part when you did this. What are you talking? Yeah, about? what are we talking about? Did we yeah. Become that person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can see that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty cool. uh, what is hard about playing this? Because it seems like you guys have a lot of fun. Honestly, like when we first started doing it, it was a little more. I think it was a little more like cartoonish. Yes. I feel like it's just become more of you know. Like when people say impersonator, and we we like to say tribute artist mm-hmm. because we're just trying to pay homage yes. to to these incredible legends. We learned in Vegas this past summer that there's a distinction between being an impersonator and being a tribute artist. And for a while, we were both calling each other ourselves impersonators. But in Vegas, they were like, "You're a tribute artist." And I'm like, "What's the difference?" And, <laughs> yeah, and then, what is the difference? Well, an impersonator, like if you take Saturday Night Live and you have someone, you know, on a sketch, like I'm gonna be, you know, like being Bob Dole, okay, Norm Macdonald being Bob Dole, yeah, you know, he's taking little things, making them big, but he's not studying Bob Dole for years mm-hmm. to get the perfect Bob Dole. And so that that's more of an impersonator is take, and it might get a little more cartoony, mm-hmm. you know, because you're just taking little things. It's exaggerated. But, it's more exaggerated. Yeah. And can, can I yeah. say this then? Uh, when you impersonate, you do the person, but when yeah. you are a tribute, you become the person. Yeah. I think that's, that's a, a good, good yeah. It. Yeah. Because it seems like it's more authentic. Yeah. If that makes and, and and yeah, and in Vegas's mind, that that is it. I mean that's they they When really... Elvis comes on stage, that's Elvis. It's yeah. not Bob Schmolnicker or right. whatever, yeah, you know. Right. Well, and when, when we first got together um and started doing this, it was like we talked about it before we, we started doing the shows, but it was like Liza Minnelli and Liberace would have been the best of friends, mm-hmm. like right, you know, and they're they're different ages. So he was he was more friends with Judy Garland. He was mm-hmm. in that yeah. generation, but but we did find. The but one Liza photo. was in with everybody. Well, yeah. she was. Yeah, she yeah. was a Hollywood kid. But she it was, was her her generation and everybody right. before her. Yeah. Right, right. There is a great photo though of Liberace, Liza Minnelli, and Cheetah Rivera. Mm-hmm. There's a fourth person in it too. So when we saw that picture, we're like, oh. They were. They did know each other. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We were worried I, I they didn't. I want to say that they even did a special together somewhere. Oh, they might. They might have. But they're, it was they brief. Have, it wasn't yeah. an act like you guys do. But yeah. but it, yeah. No, they shared well, the stage. I want to say like they either sang or they did a little bit and okay. then they sang. And yeah, we did go to the the uh, the Liberace exhibit. Yeah, the Liberace Foundation found, has the the museum piece. Okay. But what was so funny is is. Uh, you know, we were going down the line of the hall and all the pictures, and there was a picture of Liberace and Liza Minnelli at the mm-hmm. top of that. So they were kind of paired together. It was different photos, but we were like, oh, we got to. And it was your costume. It was, yeah. It was the costume, costume that he had, you know, made for him. Uh-huh. And so it was It was a kind of a, it was a nice moment. It like, was. Oh. Yeah, we're like, oh, we can put these people together. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They're right Before we were just doing it. No, I just, I didn't, uh, when I heard that you guys were doing that, I didn't see that as a, wow, I wonder what that would be like. Right, right, right. Yeah. Like I said, I, I remember seeing them do something, and I want to say it was a Christmas special, but I could oh, be yeah. wrong. Well, they're part of that yeah. era of, you know, you take Dean Martin, Carol Burnett, you know, like the, the variety shows, the kind of music mm-hmm. that they both, mm-hmm. I mean, it makes total sense for Liza and Liberace to be together. I mean, well, I mean, I have I have an old Judy Garland Christmas album and Liza is on it. Yeah, and she, yeah, yeah. I think she sings with Mel Torme. Mm-hmm. So, yeah yeah. 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 So she I totally see that they yeah. would, you know. Jingling, jingling, jingling. Is that what they do? Yeah. Uh, well, that's one oh, of them. Oh, yeah. right, right. <laughs> yeah. We'll add that later next year. There we yeah. go. <laughs> I'll let you, I'll send you a copy of the record because yeah. I don't think it's oh, out anymore. It's a, it's the whole TV special on CD. Oh no, I don't have okay. that. Yeah, oh. I've I, and you know it's I find the best gems at truck stops. That's where really? I bought it. Oh yeah. <laughs> God. And I, I have to go with more truck stops. Yeah. I'm not the biggest Christmas myself. fan in the world. Anybody that's around me knows that. I like Halloween. That's my mm-hmm. thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But uh, I love Christmas music because everybody seems to be doing something new. Yeah. Not necessarily new music, but doing new things with 
old mm-hmm. songs and mm-hmm. stuff like that. And so I'll buy, who cares who it is, I'll buy it and see if it's any good. And yeah. and sometimes I'll buy odd artists doing Christmas songs. You just think, really? Twisted yeah. Sister doing a Christmas song? Okay. I love I'd that. Like to hear that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh so God. yeah, and then I saw this Judy Garland. It's on, I want to say it's on MGM Records even. Oh, okay. Wow. Yeah, I'm and I and it's the whole it's the whole TV special. Uh, Judy brings out all of her all kids. All the kiddos. Yep. And little. And Joey. then uh, and then Liza does a piece with uh, with Mel Torme, and then in true Judy Garland form, and Liza Minnelli too. Mm-hmm. Um, they do a finishing number, and they're all kind of ripping on each other. Oh like yeah. See what the oh act. yeah. It's hysterical. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm looking forward to the show. Let's uh, tell everybody where they can get tickets and everything. Basically, um, you can call 733-7555, and I'll, I'll put links Thank when you. I put up the video. That way you guys don't have to talk about it. Just yeah. They can watch the video and just click on the link. And oh, technology, tickets and, isn't it? I know. Lovely. It. You Where's couldn't do that before, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to thank you guys so much for coming in. I think this was, uh, this was great. I love um, – uh, Brian Matuzic is uh, promoting this, and he's a friend of mine. But mm-hmm. uh, I always tell him, well, just tell him, have him come in and do the character and everything. And he's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, oh, come on, it's radio. Yeah. We secretly want to all the time, yeah. even on the, the you know the news shows. We're... <laughs> well, see, it's people weird can see being you. Our... So, yeah, yeah, you almost exactly. you have to be in care. And and the people that watch this, I almost feel like I should black out the first part and put up the real people's <laughs> picture. Mm-hmm. Huh? Yeah, and maybe I will. Right. Yeah, I mean, maybe people are watching this now and going, "Well, you did." It's just, yeah, so, yeah, that's funny. Just so people can see the characters and then uh, have the theater of the mind, oh, yeah. and then bring you guys up later right. in, like the, in the video. Yeah, oh, yeah. maybe yeah. I'll do that. Okay. Yeah. Now, like so everybody now they're like, "I've been that, watching you know, this for ten minutes." Blonde now. and a I... redhead. It's, it's yeah. Pretty, <laughs> it's quite the transformation. <laughs> it I is. Love, actually. Anytime he takes his wig off, oh gosh, people are like. <laughs> You're a blonde. I love not being recognized. Before I let you go, we, we didn't really learn anything about you guys. Uh, oh. You, uh, Brian, you actually you have a tie. Or Brian, sorry, David. <laughs> um, you actually have. Yeah, I know. I was just talking Get about Brian, Brian Matuzic. Yeah. Oh, um, David, you actually you have some ties to the area. Oh yeah, I I was uh, I graduated from high school in Spooner. Wisconsin. I went okay. to college at University of Wisconsin Superior. Okay. Studied piano, and then right out of college, uh, I started working at Renegade, and I was doing improv, mm-hmm. you know, uh, sketch, you know, the Christmas sketch shows, holiday sketch shows, um, y- years, and and worked with say like Jody Chiava, who's in okay. town to stuff at the Playhouse. Um, I mean, Do you remember the old North Shore Theater? Yes. In they're, fact, re- they're reopening yeah. in February. That's what I understand. I can't wait. I was yeah. a kid, and I went to that theater. We then, used yeah. to perform the, the well, it was the Renegade Comedy Olympics. We, used, we would perform where the movie theater was. So we would perform in front of the big screen. And, of course, Jody Chiava would always be like, you guys – don't touch that screen. Stay away from the screen. He goes, yeah. that thing, it costs, you know. More than your life. Well, yeah. and, at, and at that time, too, it, I mean, it was starting to get in disarray. It wasn't, yeah. they didn't keep it up very well. At that. I mean, I don't think they realized what a treasure it was. Yeah. Now they've totally redone the whole thing. So now you can touch the screen I'm, next time you're in. Yeah, next yeah, time yeah, we go in, yeah. We you wanna, can pet it. We want to perform <laughs> there the next time we're in. You guys should. You did maybe do the North Shore next time yeah. you come around. yeah. And then, and then, Jillian, let's uh, learn a little bit about you then. Where are you from? And... Uh, well, I'm originally from Salem, Oregon, mm-hmm. and uh, I moved to the East Coast after high school to New York and went there uh, for college and uh, started, you know, majored in jazz hands and, <laughs> you know, um, started doing the Liza Minnelli thing. Well, let's thing. see then. Now that you <laughs> said you majored in it. See, there we go. I know. That's well, why. I've had a lot of coffee. Very so good. Like, yeah. That, but, I know. Mm-hmm. But started. It's, it's better than the the non college graduate. I mean, you know? <laughs> shaky from lack right. of alcohol. They look like they've had too much coffee. Oh, yes. Yeah, but it's they really too hard. It's really booze. Yeah. You have style. <laughs> that was a beautiful yeah. Ethel you. Merman. I, uh, or was that Pine da- Daly? I, I used to do Ethel Merman when I waited tables. <laughs> Did you really? Yes. Oh my god. Oh my Me and this guy, god. we were the first two guys ever hired for O'Charlie's in Nashville. And so we had tons of women wanting to sit in our section, and oh we would do this this little. <laughs> Give bit. us a little something. Give I a little. got a feeling. <laughs> what? 
We have another tribute artist. Here. I know. Who can I we get no rid idea. of on this Who list? Can we see me? What's well, guest? Yeah. Galen's got to go. <laughs> She's got to go. Galen, I'm so sorry. You're in the UK right now. You're coming back, but you got to go. She can pack up her violin. <laughs> Galen. And Oh, I can't imagine. I'll, you know what? I'll do it next year. For okay, next year. I, I don't have an outfit. I had, I, I would have I've to. I've got plenty. Oh, oh boy. I've got plenty. I'm quite a bit larger than you, so uh, that would. Liza yeah. likes it real roomy. Okay. So we've got we've got a beautiful <laughs> fitted blouse for you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Next year when you guys come around, I'll be there. Yay. I'll I'll do a night as Ethel Merman. That would wow. be amazing. Yeah. <laughs> I got yeah. the wig too. For As you. if I don't get teased here enough. <laughs> <laughs> will you keep the beard though? Will you will you keep the beard? No, yeah, I don't. Do you want me to? Yeah, keep I think. I don't should... know. That would just be weird. Yeah, but that's 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 Portland, man. <laughs> <laughs> you have Portland brain. That's right. Oh keep God. the beard. That's funny. That's cool. Well, again, thank you guys for being on today. It's uh, it's been a joy having you here, and the show is going to be awesome. Uh, get your tickets. Like I said, all the links and everything are going to be on the website. So uh, go to cool1017.com and you'll find us. Thanks, you guys. Thanks.